Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Metal Guy Reacts, back to bring you another reaction video. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually gonna be able to react to a Puddles Pity Party song. Uh, this is uh, Paranoid and Driven to Tears. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Puddles Pity Party, you definitely need to go, need to go check out his channel right now. Go over there, I'll put a link in the comments below. Uh, check out his channel, subscribe to him on social. Uh, it's this gentleman that's a singer, has been a singer for a long, long, long time with the most gorgeous, gorgeous baritone voice I think I've ever heard. Now he's got a phenomenal range, but there is this sultry smoothness to his baritone voice that is unbelievable. So I've been following him for a long time, subscribe to all of his stuff. I'm watching all of his videos. Make sure to give him thumbs up on all his videos because I'm just going to be checking this new one out. But I really wanted to share his music with you guys if you haven't heard of him. Uh, he also uh, was on... Oh Lord, I actually don't watch a ton of singing shows or competition shows. I think he was on America's Got Talent and either made it pretty far or something like that. But he has also been a professional singer for a long time. Uh, Puddles is this character that he's designed uh, where he doesn't speak. He just is this clown. I also have heard he's like six foot five or six seven or something crazy. So he's an enormous dude um, and just with the most beautiful and sultry voice. So let's jump into Puddles Pity Party doing a mashup of Paranoid and Driven to Tears. I believe. Let me double check this. Yep. So that's paranoid and uh, driven to tears. So Black Sabbath and the police. This one is cutting deep. We're only a minute in, but he's scrolling uh, negative comments across the screen. Ouch. Oh, but this is a really good mashup so far. This is a super good incorporation of both tunes, but man, it's a heavy one. mind if I don't find something to pacify can you help me occupy my brain This is probably the heaviest song I've ever heard of his. Wowzers. These negative comments are just atrocious. Like, I'm laughing only because they are so over-the-top rude and just awful. Listen to his voice, people. Just listen. Listen. I need someone to show me the things in life I can find, I can see. The things that make true happiness I must be blind I make a joke and I will sigh And you will laugh and I will cry Happiness I cannot feel And love for me is so unreal Can you help me Occupy my brain
Well, that song was fantastic. I really liked that mashup. It was super, it was actually super straightforward and simple in the way it was arranged, but as usual, he was just singing it beautifully and matching up two tunes like that actually isn't super easy, uh, you know, now, you know, to, to rephrase, but man, uh, the sound of his baritone voice is just so fantastic and so smooth. And you could tell that he's been doing this professionally for a long, long, long time. Now, I was caught really off guard, guys. Like, uh, you know, I said earlier, like, just listen to the song. So I hope you don't think my subscribers, I was talking to you guys. I wasn't talking to you guys. I was talking to all the people that were leaving these comments, these atrocious comments that he was posting, just, you know, showing what people have said. <laughs> Leave bottles alone. That got heavy fast. I did not expect that. I've never seen that in one of his songs. So the, this is the first one I've ever seen something like that. So a couple quick things. Uh, one thing that I find so funny is I have zero, and I mean zero fear of clowns. And the weirdest thing that people say to me is they go, well, what, you know, what if you, what if you were out in the woods and you saw a clown standing there? And I'm like, well, yeah, I'd be freaked out that I've just seen a person. Them being a clown has nothing to do with it. Like I've just stumbled upon a person. Them being dressed whimsically, neither, you know, it, I don't know, it doesn't influence me that much. I'd, but I'd be just as awkward if I saw someone dressed up in a renaissance costume that'd be awkward but clowning is a profession being a clown is a profession so it'd be if i like walked into an optometrist in the woods i would still be worried and i'd be asking why he's wearing his medical clothing out in the middle of the woods that would be also scary but it doesn't really affect me so never had that fear of clowns like it just doesn't it's a profession to me and yeah again one of my friends said years ago they're like well what if you woke up and there's a clown in your room i'd be like I'm more worried there's a person in my room. Like, that's more concerning to me. Anyway, so all these people thinking, you know, just about that part of it are just not listening, man. So listen to some of his stuff. I can make some recommendations, but there's so many good tunes that he's done over the years. So go subscribe to his channel. Check out all of his stuff. It's just so, so good. And his baritone voice is just warm and makes me feel like a million bucks. He did one that was a mashup of Come Sail Away and Let It Go uh, from uh, da, 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 Frozen. And that is incredible. And he's done some live performances of that. Um, on the rare chance that uh, Puddles, you actually do check out my video here. Um, my wife also did get me a, um, a cameo from you a while ago and you played a tune for me that was fantastic. So thank you so much for that um yeah if you guys want to check out more puddles just go check out his channel otherwise i'm going to review some of his new stuff as it comes out uh just love the sound of his baritone voice but let me know in the comments below like are you guys freaked out by clowns i mean i don't fully understand that but i'm the weird one because so many other people are and i've heard it has to do with like masks and we just uh, you know when people's faces change that can instill fear in others like it's really weird but you know if someone gets even a nose job and they shave a millimeter you know off of their nose they look different it's really weird so i think it has something to do with that but it's never bothered me it just truly hasn't so anyway thank you guys so much for checking out this reaction also if you get a quick second subscribe to my channel i'm checking out all sorts of music all sorts of like rap hip-hop k-pop uh singing groups lots and lots of singing groups lately because i'm just having a blast checking them out um yeah I'm, you know just checking out stuff i wouldn't normally listen to being a heavy metal and hard rock fan mostly and i will catch you in my next reaction video